Hey, what's going on guys? GT Gaming here. We are back with another Life is Strange. This is episode 2, Mission Brave New World. So pretty much as you saw, we started a massive Previously forest fire. Previously on Life is Strange oh, before the storm. It's going to beat me to it and just show you guys. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show oh, at no, the no, no, Mill. No, oh, gonna to I'm going to teach well. this little punk some manners. Because Get the, the last fuck out of here! One got me about five claims, I think it was. Between so your grades and your three. disregard for my I rules, mute two. I see you slipping. So that was pretty shit. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Oh yeah, that's... Boom! And that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then we're just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual okay. respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? <laughs> Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Don't screw up. Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. Then how do you explain the desecration of Mr. Prescott's photography project? I didn't say I was successful. Oh, Chloe. Bullying? Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Calm Wells, reassure Mom. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. Cut. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No. Because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. 
What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. <laughs> Everyone seems shocked. It's I just... was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? I'm just gonna play along. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. They're all like, mm. Miss Price. Bullshit. Yeah, fine. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... <laughs> Trick her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Wait, what? That's the show, isn't it? No. <sighs> What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. you Mr. Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty yeah, so of blame to go blame. around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Go along with Rachel. I'm going to take the blame. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. I'll Get your you head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, oh, <laughs> you damn. seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. This shouldn't be so hard. If it looks like a duck, and it quacks like a duck, then it's gotta be a fucking duck. Okay. Right? Quack. Oh, okay. Rachel I... confessed. I'm not listening to this nonsense. I'm gonna completely mess this up. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do! 
I'm not one of your <laughs> sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Oh, God. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. I shouldn't have pulled Rachel out of class. Oh, if I'd God, known she couldn't one. handle it, I would have gone it alone. That's enough. Your loyalty to each other might be admirable, but nothing else about your attitude or behavior is. My decision stands. Miss Price will be suspended for the rest of the school year. Miss Amber will be cut from the play. Oh, at least I tried. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. I wonder if we'll run away together now. That Hopefully. is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. <laughs> I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Oh. Mom, I... I'll see you in the parking lot. I think she's gonna be really pissed, but we should see Hey, her. Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, hey, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. <laughs> so I, wonder what we're I doing don't now. really care about any of this shit. Does that mean that everyone's running Except away? my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. I don't want the... Where's the joint? Pencil case. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. Okay. You've served me well. What else have we got there? So where is the... Okay, no mind. Trash. Okay, that's going trash. Oh, the, oh there's the joints. Um, English book. Trash. What is this? Sig tr okay, we're going to trash the last book. I'm pretty sure she said about the joints in her locker, which we haven't seen any yet. Look. Finally. What I actually came here for. Oh, there's a hole in the back of the locker. Jackpot. Oh, okay. There it is. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Chloe. Oh. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> Okay, uh -oh. but try to make it fast, will you? Oh, okay, yeah. That's great, more copyright strikes, but I...
<laughs> she's walked in, she's like, what the fuck? There's a monkey, a monkey head in the back of the truck. Later, Skip. See, he Later. seems like a nice guy. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Announcement. What's this kind of an? Oh, Rachel. I'll Another letter to Max. <sighs> that I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Oh, Wells even messaged. Uh, Rachel, look for. There we go. You are, so as it will get revenge. Elliot. So what's this? Max would have loved this shit. Oh wait, the fire. Oh, it's still going. Can you actually see, you can actually see it? Wow. That is pretty crazy in my opinion. And then, of course, now there's a fire safety flyer. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Oh, don't worry. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I, uh, was suspended. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. <laughs> I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Um... Let's say no thanks. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right, yeah. Yeah, it sucks for Rachel, too. She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, man. Anyway, what are you doing here? I... I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe I won't go to the Tempest. <laughs> the more I think about being at Blackwell tonight, the more I want to throw up. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I should have thought of that. Do you just want to hang out instead? Nah, I think I'll just chill at home. You don't mind, right? It's totally cool. No problem. N next time, okay? I better go. My mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. It, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Okay, so... Yeah, it seems pretty slow-paced like the other one. But, to be honest, these are pretty good games anyway. Ooh, a car. Someone's trying a bit too hard with those bumper stickers. Beer bottles. It's okay. about damn time. David, please. Look at him. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Like a killer, Not he? with Sergeant Asshat here. 
I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. <laughs> Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me. Your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. I don't think that'll ever happen. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. Oh, yeah, bro. If you shot him down in the car. Improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me, <laughs> like swore at me. It hurt my feelings. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. If I just say sure, might as well. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. Wait, he's, he's getting sick. What the sick. fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Davis. Chloe. Quit stalling. Cut. Yeah, I think your friend took it, didn't he? We'll just comply. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? Shocks even worse than invading someone's privacy. Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? There I you forgive go. you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Brave new world, well, what does says. that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Oh, no. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened... Right my mind. Uh, I'm at a Mouth. loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. <laughs> I'll say it, all right? You're trying. I, I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. 
Terminator. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Okay, I guess I'm getting in. Or can I just run away? It's like getting back into a cop car, isn't it? Hey! There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Well then. It's part one, I guess. I wonder what she does now, because she's not in school. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Oh, I see now. At the junkyard, I think. Yep, that's right. Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Well, Rachel will be there, hopefully. Oh, the fire. You can still see it in the background, can't you? This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this... There you go. Beast will ever run again. The first thing it oh, needs on, is a new. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Wait, what was I even looking for? Get battery input intro. Okay. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Like that truck. Has a clamp on it. What if it is it just trying to get the clamp off? Probably not actually. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? What are you trying to hide under their hood?
Oh, I see the button to pop it. So we need a bat to we'll probably need some wires, maybe, I don't know. It's like Friday the 13th all over again. The game. Here we go. The pick of the litter. Wait, where's the battery now? Am I not carrying it? Or oh. I guess it's in my back pocket. Where's this car? Okay, follow the mannequin head and bingo. There we go. I'm no mechanic, but I'm pretty sure that worked. Please be keys, please be keys. Probably have to use the screwdriver. Bingo. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. So who messaged me there? Oh, Rachel, there it is. There you go. But it looks like it's going to be a little late. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. I bet if I look, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Um. What's up? Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay. I see now. Is that it now? Maybe steering wheel. Should be that. And I think that is that. Three things. Okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. First thing we need is... No, we don't need a sign. Maybe this truck will have the answers. What's that? Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. Okay. Can we get in there? No, we can't. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. Place map. I guess those days are now officially over. This mat has seen some things. Okay, we've got a mat. Now we're looking you for a You should cover that life endangering floor hole quite nicely. But you'll need something else because a hole, what happens if you step on it, your foot goes through? Yeah, but I'm just thinking too much, I guess. What's that? I think that's our You bulb. might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. Was that a normal bulb? Yep, there. Okay, so bulb, mat, and we needed a seat cover, didn't we? Or something to cover the seats. See, I have such a good memory. Don't want to leave yet. When I want to, anyway. Because half the time my memory is just dog shit.
shoebox. Okay, we'll take that. That looks nice in front of the car. No, not going over there. A boat. Sure, there's gonna be something in the boat, maybe. Hmm. Like a blanket. And uh. Damn, you cigarettes. Ah, oh, radio will take that. Ah, oh, okay. there's another claim right there, guys. I know one fire that doesn't need any focus. <laughs> So I don't mind if it gets claimed because I can just remove the songs and then the video can stay up. But You're a long it, when way it from mutes the, the whole club, video, guy. like it happened with one of my Alex Hunter things, that's when it gets kind of annoying because you can't even hear the people in the game. Talking. These magazines are so gross. Who would look at this? That sounds fantastic, Amy. Look at that. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. So we have four items there. Oh, oh snap. Do you know who will be running the program? Well, Stan. Currently we're interviewing some well-known photographers. But I'm pretty sure that's all we can do. Oh, I'm hoping we can get in the back of the boat and see what's there. Ah, oh, the fire. Shit. Hood. Get what graffiti that. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Buried treasure, burial grounds. We'll go with buried treasure. these characters I don't know for a fact that there isn't buried treasure there uh, climb what's up there then oh we'll just climb anyway and see Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire.
Okay, now where... How do we get back down? Oh, just go back. I wonder where Rachel's gone. Say that, where's that car? Oh, here we go. Engine. Probably nothing in the engine now. We're gonna enter the car. First off, we're gonna start with the bobbleheads because. Oh, singing man. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. Okay, next we're going to go with the floor, might as well. I suppose we should go for the covers. Oh well. Ain't a bad. Torn seat, then the bulb. Quit this game, it's nice and chill, you can just walk around, sort of free roam. And just check things. I don't know where she got the tape from, but fair play to See that white streak on top of the van there, guys? Happens also when you rewind back time as Max. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Who's that? Right, probably. Yeah. Right, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Christ. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. No, oh, the don't junkyard. tell me location. That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. It's probably gonna come and kill her. And, Frank? Oh, he's gonna kill her. I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? <laughs> or to you? Yeah, he's on a burner phone, so he's gonna come kill me. So we're gonna need to just drive out of here. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Mystical or frightening? We'll make it mystical. The eye sees all. Illuminati confirmed there, guys. What else have we got here? Dome light, we turn that on. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. Does the horn work? Probably not. Oh, it actually does. Singing man. It's actually in the compartment. It's probably a gun. Hopefully. Oh. What do we have here? Now, were these people coming or just him? We're gonna need something. Oh, yeah. power. This'll do. Was it? No. I thought it was. And let's have a smoke. <coughs> Looks pretty chilled. In my own time.
This is where the psycho comes up. What's his name? Henry, I think it was. Shit. I slept all day. What the hell? Hmm. Wait. Is he hallucinating or? Oh, he's having a dream. I think that's the father. That's that's the car that got hit by a train. But we're not sure. Not yet, at least. Dad? Hey, it is. Marshmallows. Fire. I guess if we take the stick. Gotta eat some marshmallows first. Where are the marshmallows? Hadoosh, Hadouken. No, we're gonna roast. Gotta get that rusty fire marshmallows. And the birds is there. Right, Mike, how are you doing? Just looking at the marshmallows. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. By the fire. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Wait, is the fire actually really close? But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Uh -oh. Of getting burned. That was just... I don't even know. It's turning into more freakier than the first one. Is that Rachel or Henry? Yeah, it's Rachel. So the band on her hand. <laughs> Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. <laughs> so 
So, are you going to invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. I should pack the clothes. She's came prepared and... Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A pirate flag? <laughs> A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. I hope. <laughs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me. Of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well then. Where do I stand? Well, Doc. We'll start with David. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? <laughs> Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Alright. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Step dick, step do, step fuck. Step dick. He's uh, a step dick. Because he's overly sensitive and he thinks he's way more important than he is. Also, he's a dick. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! Oh, God. And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. 
Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Play. Truck? Oh no, we're talking about the truck. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. See those wind? I don't know what it is. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? There you, go. you just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Sounds like a plan that does. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Wait, is she not coming with us? Providing Arcadia Bay high quality, prom ruining braces for over 20 years. Oh, she's moving in here.
Oh, Frank. Who's Frank? I'm at the junkyard. Oh, God. Oh, and Mikey. Get it? Steph says you're a nerd. I think that's his RV. Oh, it must be. Is that the one that she was going to graffiti, wasn't it? That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Oh, I think she's Yo, money. Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Christ, get your ass in here. Oh, dang. He sounds pissed off. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Well, ah! God, jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low? What's that, Justin? Dude, I hear the bad news. Suspension sucks. Frank got a puppy. Ah, oh, man. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. People leave their info when they damage someone's car. Fight the power. Okay. Let's have a quick look around. Maybe it'll... Ugh. Oh, gross. Oh, that looks like baked beans. How about civilians and all this? Are we, uh, gonna have to prepare to evacuate the next few days? I don't think it'll come to that. Got it. Well, the fire is spreading in an unusual way, sort of surrounding the northern part of the but not advancing forward. Unusual indeed. What causes the fire to behave that way? I don't honestly know. Right now, we're doing everything we can just to keep it contained. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Oh, damn. You're welcome. That was probably a bad decision. Part of a balanced breakfast. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Oh, I don't know what I'm looking for. Dog must be this one. Oh, there it is. Hey there. It's okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadour, get up here! Pompadour, what? Pompadour. <laughs> the little killer. Look at it, look at it. Oh. Frank and his BFF. 
That's... Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Food bowl. Guess Frank finally gave up on the steak. Now, what are we doing? Look. Oh, man. I hope Argus and Bowser are okay. They're probably dead, aren't they? Oh, let's give him the notebook. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. He's done a poodle. French for what? Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Demand an answer, let it go. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. It's not like you signed a confidentiality agreement. You can be less oh, discreet this up. one time. Nope. I protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Dream cloud. Build our Spot the drugs. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Jeez, Frank. God damn it. So sensitive. You guys got a thing going? Mixing business with pleasure? So, are you gonna tell me who that Christ, was? Christ, do you ever shut up? I'm not telling you anything, okay? Damn. Uh... You don't have to be rude about it. Two damn seconds of peace and quiet is all I want. Take a snap or two. Okay. Okay. I'm good now. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Oh, shit. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? <laughs> give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? 
Huh, he's an unreliable douchebag. Nah, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Unless he wants to make for Yeah, me. of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on canvas than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel yeah, we'll and I easily. could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. So how hard could it be? I think we're about to find out in. Be back this soon. Guess we should have waited a bit. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Better hurry up and get into the dorms. So, my quest is get inside the dorms again. Oh, let's talk to Steph. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How's my future looking? Bright and sunny. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but <laughs> skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? I'm just picking up something from uh, somebody. <laughs> it's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. What are you doing? What's all this stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Oh, right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Let's just pretend okay. to act interested. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Oh. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. 
or maybe yours in Rachel's business, but if you feel comfortable telling me... You think we're together? She's single? I'm not sure. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Will do. Ah, uh, look. Is that a football? Oh, what the fuck is that? Yeah, it's... Oh, that's a bin. It's a bin. Tempest poster. Locked. <laughs> Figures. Won't she have a key for it? Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Nice work, Samuel. Maybe I can swipe the keys of Samuel. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? If we can sabotage one of the sprinkles. Oh, <sighs> of course, Evan's in the way, as usual. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? <laughs> Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Mark him, say nothing. I'll say nothing. Chloe? Uh-huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, <coughs> oh, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? I guess you were right. You need to, I guess you were right. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. I anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Sprinkler. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. So, what can we do? You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. I'll smash it. So tempting, but Evan will see me, for sure. And he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. But I'll scare him again. What a douche. Time for a fresh start. So, if, if I go and pick up the bird food, if I can. I oh, know I can't. Oh, if I scare him this way, then maybe... Oh, there we go. Progress. Here we go. Then... If we scare... 
hear it. I don't even know. This way. Oh, scare it completely off now. Uh. Just on that. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Got the million dollar shot right there. Well, we're going to quickly smash up the sprinkler. Make sure no one's watching. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Oh, no. No, no, no. What is it? Like, no, what, what just went on? Sam, I think the sprinkler's broken. Oh no. Oh, I spent three hours working on that. If I swipe his keys quickly. Sorry, Samuel. I don't he doesn't get in trouble for it, I don't mind. Alright. Time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. I have to find which key it is. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Mission. I'm on a secret drug-related mission, Skip. Under the authority of the Arcadia Bay District Attorney's Office. Really? No. Dude, I, I'm just visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe. But I really can't. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. Oh, I think this is where he quits. I will make him quit right here. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. Oh, he's in the up one knife. Oh, shit. What's my official business? Dirty business. I'm going to the bathroom. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that interesting to you? What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. Oh, I feel harsh. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a... a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. Holy shit. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I... I thought we were friends, too. But when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look! I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Oh, you're, God. You're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. You, you did. You stared right at them. Oh, shit. <laughs> he didn't even deny it. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. Wh what? Is that uh, descriptive? Enough. I don't want to know about En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. 
Matthews. Huh. I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Thank God. Oh. I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. We're in. Patient, oh, I got another message. Who was that from? Rachel, okay. Okay, and we are going in, guys. Which one is Drew's room? Okay, which, is, which one would Drew be? I, did, I don't even know who Drew is. Those shall not pass. Now it's too nerdy to be him. Break a leg tonight? Okay, no, that one, that's... That is really gross. What is that? I wonder what Max would think. By, by Nathan Prescott, this is really... Bigfoot, no. Whiteboard. What do I do if Drew's here? Oh, we'll, we'll just go straight in, you know? Like we are in the place. Who is Drew, though? Oh, he's the jock, okay. Good. <laughs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Money? Where would you hide money? It won't be in a trunk. Behind a picture frame. <laughs> they look so happy. No. Uh, where would where would I hide money? <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. Um. Oh, man. Looks like Drew's dad is having a hard time. Oh, man. I'm about to steal money off him. <sighs> is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. Okay, so four-digit code. Let's look at the calendar. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. I don't know. So if we try... 05... 16, maybe? Damn it. Wrong numbers. Let's try 2010. Oh, wait. What am I doing? What am I doing, noob? Damn it. Wrong numbers. There's got to be numbers here somewhere. Look at that. More numbers. 11, 10, 36. Uh, 11, 20, 36. Oh wait, 0909. Oh, oh, Let's try 0909. Oh, oh, I doubt it'll be this, but you know, with a shot, I guess. Damn it! Wrong numbers. So what was the numbers on the wall? 11, 20. Okay, let's try it. 11, 20. Damn it. Oh, 20, Wrong numbers. 36. 
There we go, gotcha. Hold on. Might actually need some help with this one. Not for a while, 1227. 1227. Uh oh. Uh, worth a shot. Could be. Yes! This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did a little Drew beat you up too? Oh. <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, we're really good at this. But we just okay. got all of his cash. Got the money. Time to bust out of here. Oh shit, he's coming in. Hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? No reason. I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so... Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Oh, dang. Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Hey, what's going on? Drew, relax. Slow down. Oh shit, that guy's gonna kill him. You're making me think you're nervous about something. <clears throat> Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, oh, little shit. brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two a days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Oh, damn. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, so please! Out. Just give me one week. Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do this, kid! No uh, one steals from me! Uh, no one. Fuck. Fuck! Do I give him the money or stay with... Ooh, okay, this is a tough choice. I'm gonna stay with Mikey. Let me go! No! Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye bye, football. <coughs> well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. True! Uh, uh, it's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Oh, shit. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Uh, here. It sounds like yeah, I'll be, you could I'll be use nice. this. You took this from my locker? Frank asked me to. I, 
I didn't know. I, I'm sorry, man. My dad. He... He needs this money. Way more than that asshole does. Thanks. Drew! You need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah. No. Yeah, we won't. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> About Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. At least I'm in debt anyway with that guy, so my character is probably going to get killed. Quite upsetting, isn't it, this place now? It's not your school anymore. Day has been so messed up. Steph. Okay, there you go. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. Who is she? They're like, hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Did Doug dig David's garden? Okay, so what are we doing now, Samantha? Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. And the football team will just bully me more. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness, just like you're doing right now. But Dad. When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name, my name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> I'd love to. Don't you have, like, a private bunker filled with gold <laughs> coins where you could have these conversations? Oh, he's in a hobby. Nathan. Fuck! Of 
provider. So what are we doing now? Lights. Oh, okay. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular! <laughs> did Doug dig David's garden? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Great uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 